All right, so finally there's light at the end of the tunnel. PC prices are getting reasonable again. And maybe in 2025, you might be able to actually buy a 3080 in the store. But you've built a whole new PC and you don't have enough money left for a capture card. But don't despair. In this edition of the lab, we're gonna talk about how you can escape those pesky capture card fees, overcharges, expenses. So the technology we're using in this video is known as NDI. It's been around for a while. It's known as Network Device Interface. It was developed by NewTek. NewTek is very famous for the TriCaster line of hardware production switchers and software. But basically any device that's on a local area network, most of the time it's a computer, can send audio and video and receive audio and video over NDI over the network. So if two computers are on the same network, they can send audio and video to each other. And even if a device is on the network, like your cell phone, like it's on Wi-Fi, it can use special apps that use NDI to also send that audio and video. So how do we use this NDI source? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Likely you have a two PC streaming setup. So you have your gaming PC and your streaming PC. So make sure that these are on the same network connected to the same router, preferably wired. Now on the gaming PC, launch expert broadcaster, add the game source capture, and then make sure your system sound capture is on. You probably want to turn off your microphone capture, especially if you're going to be using like Discord comms or something on this PC. And then in the playout settings, make sure to send the NDI stream. Then on the streaming PC, you're going to add a source, go to streams, NDI source, and then look for the NDI feed coming in. If it's not coming in, that means they're probably not on the same network or you have something like a VPN on. Add that and then you have a very nice clean feed coming in and you can adjust the audio levels here. And that's pretty much it. That's all it takes to capture things and you don't need the capture card anymore. So what are the drawbacks? Cause not everything is always perfect, right? Well, the first is that there is a bit of delay. It's, it's very low, very small, and it's better the closer the machines are to each other. So you might want to add a bit of delay to sync this up with your face cam so that your reactions aren't ahead of what people see in the gameplay. The other thing is, is that takes this takes a ton of bandwidth. Like if you're running like a server farm or if people are using a lot of bandwidth on the router, their their connections might get slow or your video feed might get a bit choppy. So pay attention to that. If that becomes a problem, you can set the quality from high to, to standard, which takes up a bit less bandwidth. And it does take a bit of resources on the gaming PC. So if you truly want like the highest quality, crispiest gameplay and no resource loss, like you want all the frames on your PC, then you'll still have to use a capture card. Ironically enough, there's actually NDI capture cards. So like if you wanted to do like a crazy setup where in your living room is your gaming setup and you go there and then your streaming PC is in a different room, you can actually do these as long as they're all connected to the same network pretty nifty. But I want to know from you, are you using a two PC streaming setup or have you thought about getting one? What kind of capture cards do you use? And have you ever heard of NDI before? Let me know in the comments, give a like and share this video if it was helpful and be sure to subscribe for the next time we're in the lab.